welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here if you are new here hey what's up my name is Danny and as you guys can tell from the title today I'm going to be taking you along as I pack for my college spring break trip. Tomorrow I will be leaving for a four day trip to Nassau, Bahamas, and I'm going with 85 people in the senior class at Loyola. I have lots of stuff to get done and not much time to do it. So make sure to subscribe if you guys have yet to do so and let's get packing. So since we're only gonna be in the Bahamas for about four or five days, I definitely didn't wanna use a big checked suitcase because I know the likelihood of me losing my luggage is very high, especially because we have a layover in Fort Lauderdale and that is just not something I wanna mess with. So I'm going to be packing in my little CalPAC carry-on suitcase. I use this pretty much for all of my trips that were longer than a weekend when I was abroad and it got me through all of them. So I trust it and I'm excited to be using it yet again. And in order to figure out exactly what I wanted to pack for this trip, I went through all of my clothes and laid it out on my bed just so I had more of a visual representation of what I could bring before just throwing a bunch of random stuff into a suitcase. So I'll kind of show you guys my organization process. Down here, I've laid out all of the bathing suits that I'm bringing. Yes, I'm only there for like four days. Yes, I'm bringing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bathing suits. Is it necessary? No, but am I gonna do it anyway? Absolutely. And then when you move back here, these are all the shirts that I'm going to be bringing for, I guess, going out or anything where I won't be wearing a bathing suit. It's a lot of honestly the same stuff. Back here I have two sweatshirts just in case. This one is new and I got it from Forever 21 and then a plain white sweatshirt because you can never go wrong. Over here I have all the jeans that I'm thinking of bringing. I'm probably not going to bring all of these because that's incredibly excessive but I want to weed out what I do and what I don't want. Probably try on some outfits and then I'll make the final decision. And then of course I have a pair of shorts up here. I have some more casual shirts underneath my laptop. These are more just things that I would throw on top of my bathing suit when I'm going down to the pool. And then over here, I don't know if I'm gonna end up using them, but I am bringing two dresses just in case I wanna wear them when I'm going out. So I think I'm gonna start by packing my swimsuits. If you guys have watched any of my previous pack with me's, then you know that anytime I have to pack a lot of swimsuits, I always use this pouch that I got from Triangle Swimwear. A while back, they would send me, I guess, PR type packages, and they always sent the, sw the suits alongside these little pouches, and they hold a lot of stuff in them, and and they have just proven to be very convenient. So we'll see if I can pack all eight of these swimsuits in this pouch and then we'll move on. And as I pack, I'm going to be listening to our spring break playlist. I think this is a really good idea if you and any of your friends are going to be traveling together. I made a collaborative playlist on Spotify and I sent the link to all of my friends and then we've just kind of been going through and adding some of our favorite songs and it's what we're gonna be listening to the entire trip. So I'm gonna put this playlist on shuffle and get to packing. See, I told you, I literally just fit eight bathing suits into this pouch, and if I really wanted to, I could probably fit three more. It looks like it doesn't hold that much, but God, this is, I'm telling you, one of the most convenient things that I've started using when it comes to traveling. So I definitely recommend that you guys pick up something, if not identical to this, something similar, because it makes my life so much easier. And now that we're done with bathing suits, let's move on to some of the bulkier stuff. Let's move on to sorting out what jeans I'm gonna bring because there's no way I'm bringing six pairs of jeans for a four day trip. That's not happening. These are amazing. These are definitely coming. Okay. Am I crazy if I bring all of them? I'm gonna try on this pair, see if I really need them, try them on with an outfit maybe, and then we'll decide. But I probably I'm gonna end up bringing all of them. All right, so these are the jeans that I was iffy about and I tried it on with an outfit that I guess I would wear when I'm in the Bahamas. And you know what? I don't think I need them. I think they look cool and I really like how distressed they are, but I can get a very similar look with one of the other five pairs of jeans that I'm planning on bringing. So I definitely don't think that these are necessary, but this is why I love trying on outfits before I go on trips, because if I didn't, then I probably would have just brought them and they would have taken up so much unnecessary space in my suitcase. All 
All right, so I just finished packing up this entire side of my suitcase and here is pretty much all the bulkier items. So I have my sweatshirts, my jeans, my dresses, my flip-flops and my bathing suits all in here. And I still have a whole half of the suitcase to work with. This, I know if my mom is watching this video, she's probably gonna cringe because I never pack like this. But to be honest, I don't really see an alternative. So what I did, because I still have to pack up all of my shirts for going out and during the day, um, I kind of just laid out all the shoes that I'm gonna be bringing. And then since my all of my shirts are like this big, I figure I can just roll them and put them in between, put them on top, and it should work. Maybe. I feel like this whole thing is a game of trial and error, so if this doesn't work, we will find another way, but hopefully it will. We'll see. I'll keep you updated. All right, I'm slightly concerned because that was almost too easy. I've never had this little trouble packing, and granted this trip is only four days, and I've packed for two weeks in a carry-on before, but still, this is feeling... I feel like I'm forgetting something, and I don't know what it is, and it's freaking me out. But, all that being said, I did finish packing the suitcase. Um, I'm not gonna close it yet because I definitely think I'm forgetting things But I think one thing that helped for sure is I figured out what my plane outfit is gonna be and some of the things that were already in the suitcase are things I'm gonna be wearing on the plane. So it definitely freed up a little bit of space. So on the plane, just in case you guys are curious, I'll tell you, I'm gonna be wearing my red Fabletics leggings. I love these things so much. I'll have a link down below if you guys are curious because I've been getting so many questions on them. They're like my favorite things ever. Um, since I'm leaving Baltimore and it's gonna be cold tomorrow, definitely wanna wear a sweatshirt. So this one is from Champion. It's just a plain white pullover sweatshirt. But underneath, because I will obviously be hot in the Bahamas when we land, I'm gonna wear this white tank top from Urban Outfitters underneath that sweatshirt. And then probably just my Air Force One so I can be comfortable. That's a pretty good travel outfit. All right, next order of business is to start packing up my toiletries. If you guys watched my two previous videos and you know that I did a little bit of a shopping spree at CVS and bought pretty much everything I'm gonna need. So if you guys wanna see exactly what I'm packing, make sure you go watch those videos. But I'm gonna now transfer over everything that I bought into a Ziploc bag so I can go through TSA really smoothly and I can hopefully have time once I get through security to buy a water and a snack and just relax before my flight. All right guys, it is now 2.20 and I'm about to leave for my spray tan appointment. So the next time you see me, I will be looking slightly different. Obviously it won't be like developed, but I'm not gonna look like this anymore. So I'm about to wash off a little bit of makeup that I have on my face and head out, but I'm making really good progress on packing. Obviously you guys saw, suitcase is completely packed and now that the toiletries and my makeup is pretty much all in order all i have to worry about is more of my techie stuff because i mean in an ideal world i will be vlogging this trip i don't know how the hell that's gonna go but i guess we'll see but now i'm going to head off for my spray tan appointment i'm like scared to show you guys my tan but just know that i haven't showered it off yet and i will shower it off in the morning and then i'll look normal I just got back from getting my spray tan and I'm definitely a lot darker. It's gonna, honestly, it's looking pretty good, but I don't, I don't feel like I look that crazy in comparison to how I've looked with other spray tans. But once I shower it off tomorrow, I'm gonna look a lot better. Holy crap, we need to wrap this video up because I look like a little bit of a crazy person. It is time to pack my carry-on. I'm gonna take everything in my Herschel backpack. Honestly, not much has to go in here. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just my laptop, my makeup, my liquids, and like the rest of my tech stuff, which is basically just this camera. I'm using my pillow as a tripod right now, so if you're wondering why you're getting this very flattering angle, that's why. So some of the things that I thought of right off the bat that I definitely need, obviously, are my wallet, my AirPods, my passport, my camera charger, so the charger for this, and then my spare battery. Um, all this is going in the front pocket of my backpack. I'm also gonna put my phone charger in here once I wake up tomorrow. What else, what else do I need? Sunglasses, sunglasses for sure. I'm gonna grab this just in case, you never know. So I figure I'm gonna leave my makeup in my bathroom. Not that I plan on wearing makeup on the plane tomorrow, but I do have some of my other toiletries in there, so I don't wanna forget to use any of those things before I hop on the plane. So I'm gonna leave that in my bathroom, but I can put my bag of liquids near my backpack, which is over here. I'm also going to leave my computer to charge over, in actually, I don't think I'm gonna bring my computer. I mentioned to my mom 
that I was gonna bring my computer and she was like, why? So I figured that's probably not my smartest idea if my mom doesn't think it's my smartest idea. So this might stay home, which will inevitably, inevitably make my backpack so much lighter. So other than that, I think done. So on that note, my crazy tan and I are going to say thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It was definitely more on the chill side, no crazy editing. So I'm sorry about that, I guess. I don't know if you guys watch my videos for the editing. I don't think you do, but I personally enjoy editing all my videos to be fun. But this one is definitely on the chiller side. So if you don't mind that, let me know. Um, comment down below if you watch to the end where the next place you want to travel to is. Um, I've never been to the Bahamas, so I'm super excited and even more excited to be going on college spring break. We'll see if I get any footage from this trip. Hopefully I do. Updates to come. But I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you very soon in my next video.